So, alright, another review coming up. This time, I'm shifting gears going back to Marmots. And today, we're doing the Marmot 1995 Burning Godzilla. This figure was released in 2007. That's like 14, no, what, 7? 14? 7 years ago. 7, 7, 14. Never mind that. Okay? So, this is the first Desugoji Godzilla, Burning Godzilla from Godzilla vs. Destroyer. Yes, Desugoji. This was released in 2007. This mold is awesome. I love this mold. I love this mold so much that it's awesome with awesomeness. That's how much I love it. I love this mold. So, real quick about the figure. It stands at about... Where's my tape measure? Yeah. Almost nine and a half inches tall. Okay? Good size figure. Okay? 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 Yeah. It has the glitter fused into the vinyl. So, unlike the very first figure in um, that I could think of that had glitter on it, it was the uh, Glitter Godzilla from the Forever series. That had the glitter sprinkled on it. So, what Marmot did with theirs, just like Bandai did with their theater exclusives for um, Godzilla 99, the orange one, and the clear, almost translucent orange, they put, the, they put the glitter, they fused it into the vinyl. That way it doesn't fall off. So, if you're touching this figure, you're not going to have any glitter come off because it's in the vinyl, okay? So, very great sculpt. I, I, I just love this figure. It captures the burning Godzilla very, very well. Um, of course, this is not as accurate at, uh, you know, in the detail department, like, you know, some Bandai figures and X-Plus figures, but that's okay. It's not supposed to be. I mean, this is a, th this is like, oh, it's burning. this is a meltdown Godzilla, guys. This is awesome. I love this figure. There's some points of articulation, in the arms, and the legs, and of course, the tail, and the neck rotates a little bit, okay? But, oh, it's just amazing. Oh, I gotta get some good pictures of this. When you put light up to it, you can see through them. Not clear, but you could, the light emits through them. It's just so badass, and it really makes the dorsal plates look really, really cool. So, Marmot, like I said, this came out in 2007. I've had this for about seven years. I think I picked it up right after it was released. And, um, whew, I love it. Oh, uh, so, what else do we need to know about this figure? There was many variants of this figure released, and I have a couple of them. Okay, so this was the first one, and here is one variant, two variants, three variants, four variants, five variants, six variants. Wow! Wow! Look at this! This is awesome! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of these guys! Now, I only have seven. There's like 40 of these out there. There's like 40 different variants. The figures are all the same mold. Some of them are Lucky Banks, some of them are Wonderfest exclusives, some of them are events, event exclusives. Like this one right here, this is my newest one. Um, if you remember back to my video in the summertime when I was beating up the beat like a Jersey Shore idiot, um, I think my newest one was this one here. So it was back in the summer of 2013. And I got a couple other ones since then, but this one, according to Mike Johnson, he told me that it was released for some TV event. I don't know what the event was or the TV that, you know, what was going on. But uh, if, if somebody knows more about it than I do and I got my information wrong. But according to Mike, it was for some event for some television, television show in Japan. And um, I picked this up from Mike for, for $95. And now I've seen it on Mandarake, Yahoo Japan, and eBay for like 220 bucks. Whoa! Mind blown! Boom! Meltdown! So, that's kind of crazy. So, I love this figure, all these figures, because the detail, it, it does have great detail. In my opinion, it's got some awesome detail as far as the mold goes. You know, and I think it captures the Burning Godzilla very, very well. Obviously, with all these crazy colors, you know, oh, God, he didn't look like this in any of the movies, but who cares? This is, this is what Marmot does. It, it gives you awesome Paint schemes, color schemes, whatever you want to call it. The spray applications are just all over the place. And I remember at one point, I was like, why would they do this? You know, Godzilla never looked like that. These colors are just crazy and just so far out there. At one point, it never appealed to me. 
But once I picked up this guy, I was like, wow, you know, this is pretty cool. You know, it looks like the theater meltdown that Bandai did, but um, I forget which one. I think this was, no, wait, this was my second one here. And it's, you know, it's got glitter and he's got some reddish and gold highlights on him. I, I just love it. You know, so um, to those collectors that, you know, that shy away from this type of stuff, you know, don't don't knock it until you've seen them up front in person because these figures are really, really amazing when you see them with your own eyes. Um, here, this one's awesome. I tell you why, this one's awesome. I'm not gonna be able to get a good picture of it. I'll try a picture of him, but I'll try to get one. This one glows in the dark. I accidentally found out it glowed in the dark last summer. Also, I had my light on, and I was doing something. I turned the lights off, and then I noticed it was glowing. I'm like, oh, I'm like, what's up with that? I'm like, this is amazing. Glows in the dark. That's the only figure I have that glows in the dark. I don't think I have anything else. All right. Um, this one was, was released last year too. Now this is another standout one. Now when you look at him, his dorsal plates look orange and gold. And when you hold it to the light, there's purples that are leaking through. It's amazing. It's really, really cool. And some people are like, oh, they're ugly. They're not accurate. Blah, blah, blah. Guys, really, these are pieces of art, in my opinion. They're pieces of art. And I said it at one point on Facebook, you know, you have to have a, a certain appreciation and taste for these type of figures to really enjoy them. And I'm really happy with these. You know, these are really, really great. Um, this one is the newest one, like I said. You know, he's got a lot of pink and red hot orange in him. I mean, from the front, he looks fire red. Bam! Is there any translucency? No, this one is not really translucent. This one is, that one is, this one is. This one is somewhat, but um, I would say this one here, this blue translucent. Oh, yeah, that looks great. But there's no glitter in this one. No glitter, but that's okay. I mean, it's like aqua blue in the light. Ah, really cool. This one looks great. It's got those purples just sticking out through the, through the vinyl. No translucent on that one. That's okay. So, all right. So, which ones are which? Honestly, I, I know this is the original from 2007. This one came out in 2013. This is a 2014. Um, I forget all the events that they came from. And I, I really wish I knew right now off the top of my head. I know Dan Miller and Mike Johnson, these guys are like top notch when it comes to these. I think Dan Miller like has like a ton of them. I think, you know, Marvitt sends them to Dan Miller, and he's a, he approves them, you know. Mike, uh, Mike Russo out on the island, he has quite a few of these, too. Really, really awesome. But um, they come in a bag, stapled with a header card. These are the bags they come in. Pretty big plastic bag. It's nice and durable. It's not too flimsy or nothing. You know, it's not going to tear unless you're beating the figure up or whatever, and that's what we don't do. We don't do that, people. Okay, that's the bag. The header cards comes with uh, Godzilla, King Ghidra, and it's got Gigan and Hedra on there. Now this is part of the Monster Heaven lineup from Marmot, and you have all your legal jargon back there. Okay, now this is this card came from this figure here. Okay, and it has the licensing sticker with 2014 on it, and the, the sticker actually has the 62 Goji on there. The King Goji. Okay? So that's the header card. Okay? So that's the header card. Pretty cool. And it's got Godzilla on the back, so you know that's the figure that you picked up. Alright? So I have seven of them. Like I said, there's so many out there. There's actually a skeleton variant. And if you go to Mike Johnson's website, he, he uh, co owns it with Richard Cox, there is a database for all the figures, and there are tons of them. And on uh, the website is clubtokyo.org. On clubtokyo.org, you can look at all the different variants, at least the ones that Mike has got his hands on. And uh, there's the, the skeleton one. Oh, it looks so badass. But, but there's only like 10 of them made. And these are made in limited quantities too. So I don't know how many of this one were made. I, this is the first one, so it was probably a bunch made. Uh, as far as the other ones go, ugh, I don't know. But they are limited, so... These are the Desugoji Marmot Godzillas, Burning Godzilla 95. Started out in 2007, and they've been making them for seven years. There's tons of variants out there. All right? 
So if you guys got any questions, I'll help you out as best as I can. Um, I don't know all the nukes and crannies as far as the release dates and the, the, the events that these were released for, but they're so awesome. If you have opportunity to get them, go for them. Most of them range anywhere between $95, and they can go up to $450, bucks, maybe more, depending on... Actually, I know they can go for more. It depends on what variant it is, the amount, you know, the quantity they were released in, and just, just when you find them and who's selling them. Be, maybe some of them are like $1,000. I wouldn't be surprised. That glow skeleton one? Huh. Probably anywhere between, I don't know, six, dollars $800. I'd love to find out. I forget. Mike would know. All right. So, Mrs. Marmot Desugoji, 95. Mm, fresh. Okay? Remember, buy vinyl, fresh vinyl. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Mr. Fresh Vinyl and follow me on Fresh Vinyl Reviews on the Facebook. See ya. Bam.